Bits here, the more danger there might be from Pino or somebody else trying to apply some pressure. The grenade goes to where they were okay, holding a little bit of time ago, and that allows Cryon to actually sneak his way past that big open door. They weren't giving it the same watch as before, up on the rappel, and suddenly it becomes a bit of a danger spot. A swing, and Kamikaze gets a great take. Rounds into the 90 corner, but 10 seconds left up the stairs. Cryon screams back, and it's a two versus two out of nowhere. The spray onto the site, the diffuser is cold. A mad dash in a last fight on a corridor. Psycho can't get there in time. And they just hold on for the first round. In the luggage side. Holding it off, Musi's waiting for somebody to swing around. You have Kamikaze on the watch as well, but it's Musi that locks it out and puts them into that body balance buff once again. There's the run out though. Thought they'd stopped it, but Crying just gets caught off by Musi, who is doing a lot of cleanup work. A two and three currently. We just saw a clutch happen two and four. This is just a single man left, and Esprano goes quite aggressive here next to the pool table. He has the opportunity to pick up one, yet once again, it's a diffuser drop. That is going to be big. The diffuser calls, 15 seconds and a lock off with the smoke canister and suddenly NIP have to push, but look how far away Musi is. They're either side of ACs and they're able to pick that one kill up. Prano gets revenge, gets bold and gets a shotgun out. Hopped and popped and they've gone around for the diffuser, ring around the Rosies, but only Prano is going home with the prize. Leon wasn't able to do his job and well that makes sure that Rogue just need to hold off these angles now. Pre-fires come round and the drone hits the ground just as Psycho does too. A drive back for Cryon's there and gets a bit of revenge and runs away. 30 seconds. And Julio is in a position to find the fight back. There was an idea of trying to put the pressure back onto the double door and as the proximity pings, they're just going to lock it off with an air jab. But it's coastline. It's sight lines. It's huge bylines of destruction where they just make sure that any few steps are taken and locked off. Leon, one more. And this might be the first time we see a round not enter time. But that will only be if NIP find a fight, and there it is. Rogue with their third in a row. We'll throw ourselves into, and where is it about to pop from? Well, a little split walking is the first. As long as there's no big pressure coming down, it's Psycho with the very first kill. I was going to say Prano allowed to be playing there, but Rogue going for the retake on the top floor. Two men are up there, but Yulio will be able to catch him off both as Aces finds a response to the other side of the map. Rips is now locked in on Cool Vibes, trying to stop the threat and the push towards him, and now he is the only one trying to stop the pressure inside the plant spot, and he doesn't quite get anything from it. And I'm about to try something huge. They've pulled themselves entirely away. Nobody is currently on that run out. It was a bit of a swing and a spray. Nitro. They have the nitro, as you said, underneath. Nice They're going to see if they can get a connection, but they're not on the default. But Yulio gets taken on the swing. It's a four versus two retake. Prano's at least found his way into the site, but the lying down man, the one behind the bed, is the first stress he might be able to call to the rest of the players. Leon goes for the rotation, hits an air jab, and finds his seconds dwindling away. An aggressive creep towards it, but the spray over the top means it's even tougher, and tough was already there. A deep fight from that vector on the far side. Probably isn't going to be able to get him towards that plant in time. Every player is making sure he's met by bullets, and it's these seconds keep ticking away. It's NIP that take us to the last round in the half. Yeah. It's kind of a danger with Rogue though. Aces is, is such an important player on that lineup. If he doesn't show up, then a lot rests on the shoulders of Prano and Crying and Leon, who now gets taken down. It's a double entry here from the side of NIP, a triple even as Aces takes a small bit of damage, falls back into the VIP, but he knows as well that the side is currently under control of NIP. C4s are being tossed out, but will not be able to hit anything. And that means they now need to solve this problem with just pure gunfights. NIP just charging into the site, and this is that confidence you wanted to see from them. They're in the building, they're causing problems and finding fights. And that grenade, well, he has to hop out to survive it, but they knew where he was anyway. As Crying tries to find his way back up, cool vibes. Julio has the lockdown underneath, and the mozzie is entirely encircled, and they are seemingly quite aware of this. And now he is the only one left, as he finds an open door full of bullets. Instantly pull away, Kamikaze survives the grenade because he's moved to the opposite corner, but we have less than a minute. And now in this new location, it's going to be a heck of a fight. Prano, he's got an idea and it's to stick the diffuser and it's suddenly a bit of a team kill and an accident has given Rogue the body upper hand. Julio takes a huge scrap around the Aqua side and both of them are now doubled up with the upside down rappel, meaning Kamikaze is in a bit of a tricky spot with an SMG. Tries to get a connection, but Aces is not playing around the swing and the spray and suddenly, Julio is in a very tricky situation. 
The three versus one, they have the lockdown, and Prano did what he has done so well this tournament. Okay, there was a point when he was the top four name in four different categories, but the one that he is still so consistent in is making sure that diffuser goes down. And so does NIP for three. Rogue find the lead once again. Well, they might be able to firmly put themselves in charge of that section of the map. NIP, they're keeping themselves at arm's length for now. We saw a previous hold, it was quite flat, and suddenly everything exploded around Vars, and suddenly Psycho's exploded as Grind goes for the swing, the pressure's back, it's down the stairs, and it's a massive accident, but a huge take from Musi! A couple of rogue players stacked up on top of each other and made a very easy cleanup, and what should have potentially just been one kill, suddenly evolved into three. Yeah, for sure, Pina now being downed, however, as Grind looks away at the very worst timing, in this matchup so far, Muzi gets the quality. Now up and fighting fit. More than enough time and space to be able to get them to their feet. The punch in the window and the spot on the player, but they don't get it, and it's an ace for Muzi. Movement. They have rough ideas. They have vague intel and little slivers, and that grenade is going to be the first take. Important as we just pass the minute mark. Muzi looks for the fight back and takes it br brilliantly. Choking on the own excitement as Leon chokes on the fight on the way up the white stairs. It's a double for Musi. And crying in the chaos goes and pops a bullet towards the back of Rips, who's able to find his first. Finally finds a fight in, but unfortunately not for too long. And crying suddenly left in a three versus one. No idea here where Psycho is trying to swing around. Eventually finds the fight and takes him out, but a lot of damage done. He's one shot now. Yideo himself low as well. There's the opportunity for a clutch, but the Aruni laser gate will definitely slow him down. He needs to find these frags. He needs to go aggressive now. It's definitely doable, but Pino is going to be able to lock it off. With open windows and a bit of pressure popping from the other split, Kamikaze is looking for a fight out the door. Two players inside blue currently. The question is, do they have the information as the swing comes through? Prano drops the diffuser and drops himself as well as Kryon tries to strike back. It's a three on two, a two on two now as it's up to aces and Kryon. One above, one on the actual side, but the diffuser had been dropped outside and spots are coming in in the meantime as well, allowing Muzi to creep up closer. But the spot is the mutual as well because Muzi has been spotted out by the side of Kryon now. The spray from the hatch top to bottom and that is a great take built on the intel. They know where the last man is and Oryx is hot footing it out of there. Takes the middle of the courtyard and suddenly you are on the opposite end of the map. It is so quick. Coastline and nobody does the distance quicker than Oryx. The spray over the top corner to corner but nobody is quite caught and the pings are consistent. There's a drop fight there as NIP pushing themselves to map point on Rogue's map. And all of the eyes and ideas of everything that might get played. Kamikaze is at a huge couple of rounds in these past and making sure he is that lockdown on the site. And here the site comes. Brano slips their way in and the first fight falls both against them. Julio Kamikaze for one more. I said he was that back line and here he is living up to a wall. NIP get this first map and it was Rogue's. This was where they wanted to go. And now they have nowhere else to go but to a second map, their last swing, and it is Clubhouse. And he's trying to toy with the idea of twice. The grenade bounces down, forces him around, but still a massive take on that flank. Yeah, big take indeed. Able to drop that diffuser just slightly as well. And that means that Aces is the one that is now dedicated to it. But another gunfight comes down. Another trade comes in as well. It's a two on two situation right now. And none of the rogue players are on site. The diffuser is still dropped. It seems like they're deciding to go for these kills. And with Leon Gids that is playing around the border, he's going to be able to get up a free one. Muzi did not check the corner. And that brings it back to a one on one now as Leon does go down. 12 seconds and it is the last dash. You know he's around the third box the grenade on one side it hits you on the pop on the other julio is that lock and that is a first round for it i finally gets dropped at least and the grenade should secure a player but the cross comes round there's one on the back stairs here they're trying to double up on stock the drone is there and musi has been so good oh no way ping was there misses one he misses gets a second two. Musi absolutely devastates them inside stock and stacks them into the consideration of the shelves around. 
AC uses three more to try and find a fight through, and the Echo Drone has busied its way over. It knows that it has the eye and the angle, and he knows he's got to go upstairs to fight him. Some noise will be made right now. Psycho should be aware of the fact that Aces is coming through the door and as he is about to swing, the Brox alarm goes off and Psycho gets that final kill. Concerned. They're not entirely sure if NIP is going for the roam and the rotation. And at this point, all that pressure's intel they got super early is now a little bit spicy and pointless. Prano. Talking of, suffers at the first, but it finally falls. It's Pino on the drop, and Aces inside with rips with one more. Leon locks it off, and suddenly it's a massive affray all across the top floor. Julio has everything to do, and he starts by getting the first, but it's an ace clutch situation. The diffuser is just about to be planted. Locked off, and a great take on rips from the sliver and the slice that was offered, but Pirano cuts back. And an IP cut there first. The way that game, he pings it out, but there's nothing he can really do. He needs some support of his teammates here. But it's Prano that picks up yet another. It's a three on four actively now. It's Psycho still slowly bleeding out. The smoke and this does deal quite a bit of damage here. But Julio has no clue that Leon gets us right next to him. Great and important take there by ACs as they're going to see if they can re rotate and try to pop onto the default plant. But there they are. And the shotgun works pretty good at that range with Julio doing pretty good range of his own. 10 seconds pretty much and we're about to start to get the clear here on Armory. A great take and Prano is going to see if he can stick it another down but not out. But here is the drop on the box. Sees the sliver and takes it a handful of seconds and Julio clutches it out. You know, makes him a bit immobile here so it's going to be Rips that goes to the peak as Leon gets spots out of player. Is slowly chasing on the ping as Julio will be able to pick up the very first. It's Pino that will find one as well. A two on one. On a one on two. It is going to be Julio in a 1v2 situation. Ten seconds are left on the clock. The diffuser needs to be planted by Prana and he will try and make an attempt here, but Julio is well aware of it as well. Gets the red ping, gets that first kill. The swing around on the other side of it as he digs himself in deep. Grind needs to swing the corner, but the timer runs out yet once more. NIP win yet another round. Flashbangs are being popped in here, and the same uh, for the new my disc, because actually Leon will be able to pick up the very first. A long angle. This is hoping to find more. Psycho still on the mezzanines, however, is going to be able to finish one of the players. Goes for two. We'll find that as well. Psycho just locks up the garage here. And Rogue again are our men down as they desperately need to find a second on those mezzanines. So what do they do? Let's just send more men that way. Rips is going to be the next potential fight, and the pings are there, but they were there before, and Psycho was flashed and still didn't care. Pino and Psycho, for one apiece, finally stopped his reign of terror on the rafters, but it is a 5-1 half for NIP. Heads off. Cryon realizes he's got other places to be as the pressure starts to pop on dirt, but Leon pops off upstairs. A very important take, and now Psycho's under a bit of pressure. He knows it's coming, and Musi knows that he's got to start dealing with the nade. Far side. A great nade doesn't quite get the connection that they want. But with the looming pressure and presence of Leon, they've got to start making a move, and here it comes, and there it goes. The double for Rips on the lockdown on the backside of Armory, and Musi's going to see if he can bury his way down oil. The first fight doesn't quite connect. The free fire hits, and with this spread and with where they are, it's a push from Dirt. And it's a take from Rowe. Double take round from Stock and the push from the double door. Locked off bar, Aces. Well, he's got a friend potentially in Musi who's reloading, re-droning, and about to be dropped for and rocked. And there it is. Can he get back in? No. Julio had the cover from deep. The wall gets popped, but it's a big time and try and lock off the cover as Cry needs to rotate back at some point. The window gets opened up to give him something else to worry about. And as Kamikaze is about to swing on him here, they have no clue. He's prone in there. That's a Diffuser dropped, it's another kill to come through. Psycho in a 1v2 now with 15 seconds to go. Massive plays, massive smoke canister, and a massive claw back from the two remaining rogue players. A connection, but a blind, hopeful run through what was a very toxic space. Wonder if they're still keeping an eye on it, if logistics is the next point of interest here for NIP. Oh, that was a bit of a mistake there. A bit of a miss throw on the Candelas, and Leon's able to punish there. Drops Pino. Musi's found his way into the top of the stairs, but he's a little bit concerned. Where is everybody? He's thinking, well, there they are, Psycho says, as he finds a fight and a trade-off with Cryon. There's one more for Julio, able to put a bit of a lock here, and suddenly they've been able to find some momentum. It is a three versus one out of nowhere. And we said Leon was the strike that might be the one that hits the mark. It's Julio that marks just one thing on the walls. A map point, a 2-0, and maybe the 6th. <laughs>
Latin America finalist. Legion that just slows that approach and as the canister pops on the hatch and the grenade rolls its way to the back. It doesn't quite get the connection that they wanted, but 20 seconds and we're about to start to see an NIP explosion. The bodies pull back. You've got a charge from Moto as the fight comes through and Rips goes down. He wasn't on much, but they are not on much time. They're about to see if they can get the fight on pipes. Can't connect to Julia, Pino, Psycho and no, Pino no, for this. one more NIP. They flood, they strike, they slap and they maneuver themselves into the final.